Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing my one year review of the Erivo 2.0. I think, you know, sometimes people do reviews after having an RC for like 30 minutes. I don't think that's enough time. I think a year is enough time to have an RC car and really put it through its paces so you can get a feel for it so that you can let people know what breaks, what doesn't break, how it holds up over time, if you're going to have to replace servos and that kind of stuff. So I think, you know, now's the right time to do a proper review of the Erivo 2.0. So here's my baby. I had this thing since the, the probably I think the, the day they came out. I know this is the first orange one the hobby shop got in and I bought a thing. I have the uh, original body steel, the original uh, tires and wheels. This is not the original wing. I have, <laughs> I really trashed the original wing. But um, yeah, I do have another body in there that I do run with it sometimes. It's a brand new body. Pretty much it's not beat up like this one is. But I wanted to show you guys how this body has held up. As you can see, this front end is just, it is really, Really torn apart and it's got cracks all in it right there it, this one screw it didn't come through but you can see that's cracking around that but this is after a year of just beating the mess out of this thing the rear of it you know that's pretty much gone and broken right there but other than that it still stays on and does its job so i'm i'm really impressed with how durable this body is this is probably one of the most durable rc bodies i've ever seen these are the original tires all four of them uh, I, I know people like to swap them out for different brands and, and what have you. I really like the stock tires. I think they do really good on dirt, grass. They don't do well at the track, but that's not that big of a deal. I don't take it to the track very often at all. So, uh, you know, they don't get traction out there. But other than that, they are some really nice tires. I like them. And they, I mean, I don't know. I think they look great too. I like the wheels, the, the tread pattern. I, I just, I, I'm really satisfied with those tires. And I know some people will tell you that the tires are, are horrible. They fly apart too easily. They're too fragile. And I mean, I've had these things for a year. I haven't had any issues at all. I actually, I have never had a tire blow out on me. The only time I've ever done it, I did it on purpose. Like that is the only time I've ever had a tire come apart. So I have never driven an RC where the tire has came apart and I have you know the, the X Max which I haven't driven it that much since I've gotten it but I have a V1 e Revo never blew a tire on it and I never did on this one either and I see people will post videos where they'll take like the e Revo and they will drive it out there they'll flip it over this one dude he posts a video where he does it and like 10 minutes after he gets the e Revo takes it out flips it over in the street and he just pulls the trigger the tires balloon out and they fly apart he makes a post on Facebook oh these tires suck they come apart so easily it's like dude you can't do that to any tire, really. I mean, what did you expect? So, I mean, as long as you treat the tires right, I think they will last a very long time. And as far as how this thing goes underneath there, I have replaced, let's see, the shock oil I've replaced. I can't remember if I put uh, 50 in there. I think I put 50, I don't have 60 in there. 60, I tried that for a little bit. It was just too stiff for me. And I did swap out the springs for like some blue and purple and I didn't like those. So I went a little bit softer. I got, I think golds and greens back on here. And uh, they're a little bit stiffer than what came on there, but not by much. The uh, the servos, I did swap those out. The uh, the stock servos didn't last that long at all. They kind of died on me. So the servos need to be swapped out. But you know, other than that, that's fine. The ESC is still the original ESC. I had to tape these up. They kept coming loose. The motor still the original motor. The uh, the brace back here, I broke the plastic brace like right away. It didn't last long at all. But uh, I put the aluminum one on there and the limiting straps, of course. And since I've had these limiting straps, I've had no issues out of these shocks. And I know some people still have issues with like the, the push rods, you know, the rod ends coming off. But I mean, I have only had that happen like twice. And so I just keep a bag of rod ends and it just, you know, if I pull one out, I'll just, you know, uh, replace it with that. I have broken an axle. I'm sorry, a drive shaft. I can't remember which drive shaft it was. I think it was this one right here, actually. So I've broken one of those. I have a bent drive shaft over here which i'm going to see how long it lasts i do have a bent tow link back here it's bent a little bit it's not too horribly bad i'm going to see how long it lasts before it comes apart or i have to replace it but other than that man i don't think i have really broken anything else i don't think any of the a-arms have ever broken which i'm surprised <laughs> some of those smashes in the ground in slow motion i don't know how i did not break some of these a-arms and what have you but other than that, the uh, the doors on the uh, battery compartments are still doing fine. Uh, everything else, the bumpers, the body mount system, everything. I mean, this thing has really held up really well. I did break a part back here. I can't remember which part of the wing that I broke, but the supports that come back here, I can't remember if it was this piece or, or this piece. But I did break something back here. Other than that, man, I don't think 
I have broken anything else. I'd have to go back and look through my videos, but I don't seem to remember breaking anything other than that. The spur and pinion gears are still the original spur and pinion gears. I believe, I know I haven't swapped the pinion out. The spur, I am pretty sure the spur gear is the original spur gear. I, I cannot remember taking apart the, the, I can't remember taking that apart. I don't think I've ever swapped out that, that spur gear. That, that's pretty amazing because I know on the V1, man, I have swapped out spur gears pretty often. That's pretty cool that thing's held together. These wires sometimes come out. That's not often. I have this tape here just to, you know, keep them, you know, close to it if they do come out. It happens every once in a while, but it's not too bad. Even on the underside, everything still looks, looks fine. I mean, it's dirty and scratched up a little bit, but, you know, nothing's broken. They held up pretty well. There's like one time I tried that piece back here that someone 3d printed and that didn't last very long at all so but yeah i mean the chassis and everything uh, has held together great these cuts back here they also aren't doing horribly bad the rear ones they've got some wear you can see that there's a little bit of a dip right there where that that little peg goes a little bar goes so it hasn't torn them apart yet on the rear though it's worn out pretty good on the phew, that was almost bad on the front you can see on the front, there's like nowhere at all on the front. So, I mean, maybe a little bit, but not like it is on the rear. As you can see, this E-Revo 2.0 has held up pretty well over the year. And I have a V1 E-Revo, so I have something to compare it to. And it seems like on that V1 E-Revo, I was breaking something about every two or three weeks. I was ordering drivetrain parts all the time. Axles and spur gears and rear differentials. And I haven't had to replace, you know, the spur gear or the differential in this E-Revo 2.0. The, the differential that that is <laughs> i i really like not having to replace that rear differential so i'm i'm really impressed with the 2.0 it is it's not my favorite rc my favorite rc is my clod buster and uh which is you know nothing like the erevo i really think my clod buster is my favorite rc but my second favorite is the erevo 2.0 and i like it more than the x max i like it more than you know my rock ray or the rustler it is, if I could only have one RC, even though, you know, the Claw Bush is my favorite, but if I could only have one, it would be the E-Revo 2.0. I just, I, I really do love this thing. It is, it is so amazing. I, I really do. And so I'm gonna show you some stuff I like about it. You know, just the way this thing drives, the way it handles. I, I really like the way this thing moves around. I know people are going to ask, these are the batteries I run in all the time. These are actually the batteries I bought to go with it. So I've had these since the day I had my Erevo, you know, and uh, these have held up really, really well. They have outlasted every Traxxas battery I've ever purchased. So, uh, you know, I like these Venom batteries. Uh, I know Venom has changed up their plugs and everything. I like these better than their newer batteries. So if I can get my hands on these, this is what I go with. I really like how much control you have over this thing and how responsive it is. Every time you you know you hit you pull the trigger you hit the brakes you can really put it wherever you want it and have just full complete control over this thing. And even though it does have some weight behind it, not like the X Max does, it still you know controls and handles pretty well. Just goofing off and moving it around, it just feels so nice. I mean I can't I can't really. I don't know how to, you know, give you the controller and let you see how it feels, but I mean, it just has this feeling of control. I don't know how to explain it, but you really feel like you are making it do whatever you want it to do. And jumping it, sending it through the air, it just, when it leaves the ground, it just flies so nice. And it handles really well in the air. So you can really control it like that. And the way this thing controls in the air, it's just... Oh, a little bit flip. <laughs> but you can really make it do whatever you want. See? See, it just... It is just such a nice, nice RC. <laughs> it's so hard for me to focus and drive at the same time. Let's see. There we go.
See, it's so easy. If you do make a mistake, it's, it's really easy to recover from it. There we go. And I know people are going to complain about it slapping the ground so hard. I, I don't like stiff shocks. I don't like how, you know, I don't like how it turns and handles when you have stiff shocks on it. So that's why I, I keep the, uh, the shocks pretty soft. I cut my grass today. I purposely left all this debris out here. I was going to come out here and play around with it. Lying around. Man, this thing's so much fun. Look at my face. This is why this is my favorite RC. Every time I drive this thing, I just have the, the biggest grin on my face. This thing is so much fun. I really, it is absolutely worth the money. The Revo, I think is, 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 I know you have to do a lot of extra stuff to it to make it, you know, reliable and more dependable. It is absolutely worth it. I just, I love this thing. Uh, don't, uh, don't tell my Claude Buster. I, I just call the Revo my favorite RC. Shh. This thing is just so much fun. I, I'm supposed to be, you know, filming a video for it. I just got distracted and it's just driving it around. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> See if I can get a cool shot of it coming around this corner. Let's see if I can do this. This is actually one of my favorite jumps. I don't film it all that often going ramp to ramp i really like doing that oh there's a couple of bees hi little bees might want to move out of the way haha <laughs> oh that was too far it's a challenge just to get it right and it's a really difficult challenge to get it right while you're filming it. That was close. <laughs> I think I didn't even try. I'm trying to get a feel. It's so easy to overshoot it. Oh, <laughs> that was it. That was so nice. Now, while I love doing that little that little jump, I don't like you know hitting the ramps. From that angle it really does a lot of damage to the ramp so i try not to do that very often as much fun as it is i try not to tear up my my stuff let's get some long jumps with it
So my final thoughts after one year of having the Erivo 2.0 it is still just as much fun as the day I got this thing. I, I still love it. It's my go-to RC. If I go somewhere with a bunch of friends and we take our X Maxes or whatever, you can you can count on that Erivo being there. I always bring it along. It's my backup RC. It, uh, if the batteries die in the X Max, I grab the Erivo. Uh, sometimes I just bring out the Erivo. I, I, I love that thing. It is, it's, it's, it's my go-to RC. Uh, it's not perfect. There's some things that are wrong with it. The, you know, the servos aren't very good. The wiring for the batteries comes loose sometimes. The push rods, we have that issue, and the uh, shocks will tear themselves apart if you don't, you know, do the limiting straps and the rear brace mod to it. But you know, other than that, it is a, a really good, really solid RC. I, I love it. I don't regret buying it at all. If you are considering buying an Erivo 2.0, go ahead and, and get you one. Uh, it, people often ask me, do I recommend the Rustler or the Erivo? If money isn't an issue. I think the Erivo is like hands down the better choice. And really, if you want an RC that you want to, you know, have for a very long time and have a lot of fun with, and you're not gonna buy any other RC, like some people will buy 10 RCs, some people only buy one RC, and that's all they buy. And if you can only have one, I really think you should go for the Erivo 2.0. I I can't say enough good things about it. It is such a fantastic RC, it's so much fun. I mean, the entire time I'm out here playing with it. I ran the batteries dead. I didn't film everything. I would just like in between shots. I would just drive it around and have fun with it because it's so much fun. And I really enjoy having fun with it when the camera isn't on, so I'm not distracted. I can focus on it. I can drive it the way it's supposed to be driven. I'm not have to, you know, I have to worry about wrecking it and tearing it up. It's very difficult for me to focus for whatever reason. I guess I'm getting old. It's hard for me to film and focus on what I'm doing at the same time and not just, you know, uh, wreck my RCs. You know, there are some sometimes. If it doesn't land right, you have to react quickly, and it's very difficult to do if you're holding a camera in one hand, or if you there's a spider web floating around. <laughs> it's very difficult to do if you're holding a camera in one hand, or you're trying to you know hold the controller and, and focus on what you're trying to film. It can be difficult sometimes. So I like to just drive around with no camera at all. It's, it's a ton of fun. I see people posting all the time that I should get an Arma, I should get a Crichton, or or something like that, and I'm like, what? What do they do that an Erivo does not? I I watch videos of other RCs that are similar to the Erivo. I watch you know videos on like the Truggy and stuff like that, and I just I mean I see them tearing up chassis and shock towers and not surviving, crashing upside down. The Erivo is just so durable. I set aside the push rods and the shocks and stuff you have to fix on it. Other than that, the Erivo 2.0 is just so durable and so reliable. At least for me, it is. I mean, I drove it all day today. I didn't break anything and tear anything up. Uh, I really didn't crash it or wreck it. So normally I don't crash and wreck my RCs. I know in some of my videos, you know, people give me a bunch of crap for launching my RCs and just, you know, smashing them in the ground upside down. I don't do that off camera. When I'm off camera, I drive it a lot like I did today. I have fun with it. I drive it the way it's supposed to. And I think if that's what you do, you're not gonna have any issues out of the Erivo 2.0. So if you're, you know, considering getting an RC, go get you an Erivo 2.0. You won't regret it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna have a ton of fun with this thing. Everyone I know that has this thing, they love it. It's, it's very rare that I see someone unhappy with how the Erivo performs. Usually it's, you know, hey, I don't, I hate having to fix the push rods or whatever, the shocks. And it's like, all RCs have some problems. There are none that are, wow. <laughs> Hi, Bumblebee, leave me alone, I'm filming. All RCs have some issues, some problems. Uh, you know, there are none that are perfect, none that can survive, uh, you know, everything. You know, every one of them has something that's wrong with them. But I think the problems I have with the Erivo, they're acceptable to me. They're very few, they're very minor. I, uh, I I can't recommend it enough. So just go get you one. Go get you one. But uh, you know I I guess that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much. I hope you liked the video. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time.